Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wassalatu wassalamu ala ashraf al-anbiya wal mursaleen nama ba'd. Alhamdulillah, we thank those who have attended our conference and our retreat. And this moment that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has gathered us to study the Qur'an and matters related to the sciences of the Qur'an. And this is from the best things that we can gather together to study. Uh, is mentioned in some of the hadith that the best of gatherings are those that gather among the houses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they study the Qur'an together. And when we mention Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions us in a gathering that is much better than this, a gathering that is specific to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when we are studying these matters pertaining to the Qur'an, it's important as it has been mentioned throughout these days of purifying your intention, purifying your attention and seeking the reward. In the hadith that mentioned, Man sama Ramadan iman and wahtisab and wafira lahu ma taqaddam min dhambi. One of the matters that is mentioned, ihtisab, that a person is seeking the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is trying his best to ask and seek Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the reward in relation to those actions that he's doing. So this is just a reminder, first and foremost, about the intention. As you will notice, alhamdulillah, in our gatherings that we have been covering in the last two days from Tajweed and perfecting our recitation of the Qur'an, it's also important to remind ourselves of an important matter in relation to the Qur'an. And this is the Arabic language. The Arabic language and the Qur'an. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, إِنَّا أَنزَلْنَاهُ قُرْآنًا عَرَبِيًّا لَعَلَّكُمْ تَعْقِلُونَ That we have sent down the Qur'an in the Arabic language so that you may understand. When we have been covering matters of Tajweed, we have covered a small chapter. And you'll find your teachers have given you additional benefits from Tajweed. Especially when it comes to matters like stopping and starting. How do we stop? We have to understand the Qur'an. When we understand the Qur'an, we are able to know where can I stop and preserve the meaning that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to understand from these ayat. When we recite the Qur'an, how do I know which is a command? What is obligatory? What is a prohibition? How can I understand this without understanding the Arabic language? Allah mentioned here that as a result of the Qur'an being revealed in the Arabic language, you shall understand. The Arabic language is very clear. Allah made the Arabic language as something that clarifies the meaning of everything. And by this, the Arabic language is also a part of the mu'jiza of the Qur'an. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, with his preservation of the Qur'an, inna nazalna dhikra wa inna lahu lahafidun. We have sent down the remembrance, and alongside this, we are those who preserve it. We are those who preserve this remembrance. This also refers to the Arabic language. Why? Because this is the kalam of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the speech that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose specifically to speak the Qur'an with the Arabic language. And as a result of this, a person shall understand. A person shall understand the Qur'an. Also, Allah SWT says, Qur'anan, Arabian, ghayra li iwajin, la'allahum yattaqun. That the Qur'an that is in the Arabic language, that has no error, no mistakes, no deficiencies. So that they may have taqwa. They may have taqwa. When you understand the miracle that Allah SWT chose the Arabic language, as the language of Al-Islam, not just the Qur'an, Al-Islam in totality, the language of Ahlul Jannah. And where do we learn the root, the pathway to Jannah? Is it not by the Qur'an? That although Allah SWT chose the Arabic language to reveal the Qur'an, He also says the Qur'an is huda wa bushra lil mu'minin. That is guidance and glad tidings to the believers. How can we learn this guidance and observe this guidance and seek to understand the glad tidings that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has promised us within the Qur'an without understanding the Arabic language. And it was mentioned in the hadith yesterday, مَنْ قَرَأَ حَرْفًا مِنْ كِتَابِ اللَّهِ فَلَهُ حَسَنًا وَالْحَسَنَةُ بِأَشْرَةِ أَمْثَالِهَا That whoever reads a letter from the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then for him is a reward. And the reward is by tenfold. Is this reward for someone who recites the Qur'an in other than the Arabic language? No. What is mentioned, alif, la, meem. And it mentions each of them is a harf. Alif un harf, wa meem un harf, wa lam un harf. Lam un harf, wa meem un harf. These are the letters of the Arabic language. 
And from them are that which, the, from the Quran is that which we know the meaning of and that which we don't know the meaning of. The letter that Alif La Mim, this is something that is in the Allah. Ilmun in the Allah. Allah is the one who knows the meaning of this only. This is from the Mu'jizat of the Quran. So as we have taken these days to study the Quran, I have mentioned to those who have been around me, this is an opening. We are opening a door to a journey that we hope will never end. A journey that will never end until that time comes, the appointed time comes. And that is our relationship with the Quran. Allah says, أَفَلَا يَتَدَبَّرُونَ الْقُرْآنَ Do they not ponder over the Qur'an? How can we ponder over the Qur'an without understanding it? An example that some of the ulama mentioned, when we recite some of the names and attributes of Allah Taala, by way of our limitation and not understanding the meaning, we can give the meaning in a way that is deficient. If we take as samia for example, some will say it's the one who hears everything, the often hearing, the all hearing. But sometimes this means the one who answers the du'a. Sometimes this word, as samia means the per, that Allah SWT, He is the one who answers the supplication. Not only does Allah hear the supplication, not only is Allah aware of the supplication, but Allah is the one who answers the supplication. All of this is from one word. All of this is from one word. From the sciences that you're learning, when you're learning tajweed, مخارج <laughs> الحروف how to pronounce the letters. This is all part of the Arabic language. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَقَدْ يَسَّرْنَا الْقُرْآنَ لِلذِّكْرِ فَهَلْ مِنْ مُدَّكِرِ That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose the Arabic language as a way of ease to recite the Qur'an. If it wasn't for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala making it easy upon us, we would not be able to recite his speech. As this is the kalam of Allah. Had Allah not made it easy for us to recite the Qur'an, we would not be able to say the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the language that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose to reveal this Qur'an in is Arabic. So as you have taken steps now, some of you, it's your first time studying Tajweed. It's your first time studying the Qur'an, reciting the Qur'an as much as you've done so. But when we stand in the night prayer, alhamdulillah, we benefited. Yesterday we have a tafsir given, ponder, pondering over some of the ayat that, will be, that are going to be read. Imagine you understand the Arabic language and you understand firsthand behind the Imam. So when you pray behind the Imam, you're not in a state of confusion and you're just pondering over a beautiful voice. Along with this beautiful voice that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordained upon us within the Quran, in the Arabic language, that we recite the Quran in a way that is beautiful with tajweed, you will also be pondering over the meaning. So as we mentioned that this is a stepping stone that we hope from this retreat, we take some benefit. One, that we continue our relationship with the Quran. And from this is that we start to learn the Arabic language. From you, from among you, those who are not studying the Arabic language, start now. Start to understand the Quran. Make your intention. Why am I learning the Arabic language? And this is very important because when we speak about the Arabic language, we find you will find those who say, Arabic is difficult. Arabic is a hard language to learn. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us it's easy. Because he revealed the Quran in the Arabic language. And he said the, Ar the Quran is easy to memorize. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made it easy. It's us who make it hard. How can we make this hard? By having an incorrect intention. How can we make this easy? When we want to learn the Arabic language. Make your intention be to understand the kalam of Allah first and foremost. I want to learn this language so I can understand what is Allah SWT telling me. Then I can understand the sunnah of the Prophet SallAllahu Alaihi Wasallam that explains the Qur'an. So the Qur'an is not separate from the Arabic language. And when we look at the history of the ulama, many of those who are considered a immatul lugha, the imams of the Arabic language, many of them are not Arab. So we have no excuse. So we remind ourselves finally, and again, let this be a stepping stone to open up many doors of goodness. By one, as we are trying to be students of knowledge, from the fundamental steps a person should take is one, they give importance to memorizing the Quran. That is, is the primary source of evidence. And then understanding the Arabic language so they can understand the Quran. How can we derive rulings from the Quran? How do we know what is a command? How do you know what is a prohibition? 
How can we understand the Qisas al-Anbiya al-Sabiqa? The stories of the previous prophets and nations. This is all in the Quran. So as we said, let us be of those who busy ourselves with the Quran, especially in these days that we are here and in the month of Ramadan and have intention to continue this journey by memorizing the Quran. Alhamdulillah, we have Sheikh Sharif from our community, those who can study with the Sheikh. And also we have the facilities to learn the Arabic language that we can understand the kalam of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Subhanakallah wa alhamdulillah wa shadu la ilaha inta wa astaghfirullah wa tubu alayk. Jazakum lakad wa assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.